We have heard a lot about AI. Uh, so I'm what you would call a typical AI researcher. For the better part of my career, I have built AI systems and have used them to solve problems. By now, I figured I know the sequence of steps that I can use to build an AI application from scratch. Let's take an example. An example where we are trying to figure out what is in an image. In this problem, we first collect a huge database of images. In this case, this data is available to download pub from publicly available data sets. Once we have this database, we ask humans to tag them, to tell them what is in each particular image. Once we have those tags and those images, we pass it through an AI algorithm, we get a model out, we then use that model in deployment to make a prediction for a new incoming image. This is the sequence of steps that we use for this particular application. Now this particular application happens to dominate the conversation around AI nowadays. It also happens to fascinate researchers for several decades now. But perhaps there is a more pressing need that we are all ignoring. There actually is a more pressing need that is chronically unaddressed by the AI community. In its most simplest form, that need is whether an email like this is malicious or not. I got this email a few weeks ago. It notified me that there had been a suspicious activity on my iTunes account. My instinct was to instantly click cancel this payment. But on further examination, I found that I actually don't have an account with that ID. So it turns out that, a, that an email that is telling me about a suspicious activity is in fact malicious. So a few years ago, I met a team from Bay Area. They were experts in networking, security, and enterprise. They asked me a question, Kalyan, can we build an AI application that would help us defend ourselves from these attacks? And I thought, I have figured it out. I know the recipe. I know how to build these systems. So I just told them, yes, of course. Give me these three things, and I'll build it. And I realized, as I worked with them, that in cybersecurity, all these three things are not available and are challenged. So let's go one by one. First, first expectation was that I'll get a lot of historical data and tagged data that is historical examples about attacks. It turns out in most enterprises, that data does not exist. Then I thought, if data does exist, can we get humans to tag it, whether something is an attack or not? It turns out it's not that easy to tag something and figure out whether it's an attack or not. You see, for images, we can all look into it and we can tell, every person can tell what is in the image. But for this kind of data, you require security experts, and many of them, that sit around in a control and command center much like this, analyze the data, intuit whether it's an attack or not, and tag it. The third assumption that I had was that if I built a model that predicts an attack, could I keep using it and could I prevent? And it turns out, cybersecurity threats are always evolving. And as a result, we need something that co-evolves as the threats evolve. We need something that sits alongside human and learns over time and adapts. And that's exactly what we did. We built something called AI Square. It's a mixture of artificial intelligence and analyst intuition. And here's how it works. On first day, the analyst gives examples of attacks and benign events. And the second day, the AI is able to learn a model that imitates an analyst. So from this point onwards, the model can make predictions. It can filter out events that are benign, and it can show the ones that it thinks are attacks. And as a result, we get something we call a virtual analyst. But is that the end of it? No. We have the analyst train the AI more as days goes by. As a result, once we built the system, 
after three years of intense work, we deployed our platform on the first enterprise-grade infrastructure. And we got a result that amazed us. That little iterative loop where humans and AI work together back and forth, sharing examples and making predictions, gave us a 5x improvement in terms of number of things the analysts had to investigate. And it gave us a 10x improvement in the detection rate. These numbers were never heard before in that industry. So in the end, earlier this year, Fast Company called our concept putting AI and humans on the same team. And I strongly believe that that would be the next generation of AI systems, where we as humans will be working alongside them, training them, and they will be helping us and filtering out events or helping us manage situations better. Thank you.